Max here from ShopSolarKits.com. In today's video, we're going to be doing the initial setup to one of our HBK Complete Solar Kits. HBK stands for Hybrid Kit, and that's because it has one of these all-in-one inverter chargers here. In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to set this up yourself so you can understand that anybody can do this and it's really not that complicated. We've got every part and piece that we need here. We've got a lithium iron phosphate battery. We've got the all-in-one hybrid inverter, and it's called a hybrid because it's got an inverter in here, it's got a charge controller in here, and you can run a line out to power stuff and use it to charge up your battery. I'm gonna show you that step-by-step. Step. This grow out here is very similar to the MPP. These are both hybrid inverters, and they're kind of the new way that we can set up a solar kit. All you have to do is really screw this to the wall. You connect a battery to this, you connect your solar panels to this, and you're pretty much off to the races. So this whole video, I'm gonna take you through it step by step so that you really can understand that you can do this yourself and it's just, it's just not that complicated. So once you've mounted this to the wall, there's very few tools that you're gonna need. You'll need a screwdriver so you can take off the front plate here and get access to the internals. You'll also use this same screwdriver to tighten down the AC in and AC out portions. You'll need a little ratchet like this so you can tighten down the battery cables onto your inverter. And for tools, you're pretty much done after that. I've literally cut up a standard household extension cord and we're going to use that to wire into the AC in and the AC out. And I'm going to show you step by step how to do that a little later in the video. This cable right here is the battery cable and you use that to connect into your battery and then wire that into your inverter so that it connects these two together. These two cables here are the MC4 cables. You'll be able to keep your panels out in the sun, run them to these wires into your inverter charger here, and you're gonna use the panels to charge up your battery like this. Regardless of if you have 10, 12 panels, it'll all run into these two lines and into here, so it's very, very easy. When you order from us, we send you a diagram so that it shows you exactly the setup of your panels, but regardless of how many panels you have, it runs into these two lines and into your inverter. So what I'm gonna do now is start actually setting this up so you can see the steps that it takes so that you can do it yourself. So the first step is we need access to the, to the bottom of the grow out here. There's four screws that hold the base plate on and we're gonna use this screwdriver to start taking off the four screws so that we can ac get access to it here. As you can see, these are tiny little screws and they come out very easily. Now that we've taken off the base plate, we have access to what we need to be able to see to start connecting cables in. These are the ring terminals that you're gonna to use to screw onto those posts inside the grow watt. So the black is the negative, the red is the positive, and those will fit right on the lugs and we'll screw those down. We've got the DC positive and negative, the holes in the bottom of the grow watt where the ring terminals will go in. The ring terminals are now on the post and you'll use these nuts to tighten it down. We have negative on the right and positive on the left. The way that you know that is you'll actually be able to see yourself that on the bar above there's a little plus symbol and on the right side there's a negative symbol. This is where I'll use the ratchet to just tighten down these screws so that we can make sure we have a good connection. Now that step one is done and we've connected our battery cables into our inverter charger, we've made sure those are securely fastened down. The next part is to do our AC in and our AC out. The simplest way to do that is to take a household extension wire and you cut it in two. You're gonna have a male and a female and that's what you're gonna use for the AC in and the AC out. You've got a ground, an L and an N. We're gonna wire that together right in here so that you can see exactly how to do that. So as you can see here, I've got a pretty thin extension cord. So once I've stripped my wire, you can see that there's actually very little amount of copper wiring here, which isn't gonna be the best connection when you hardwire it down. So what I like to do is twirl it together like this and fold it in half, twist it back together like this, and that will allow it to connect much better when you wire it down. Now let's talk about AC in and AC out very quickly. AC in is when you're trying to get power into your battery, all right? The way to get power into your battery is you're gonna to need to plug something into a generator or into a wall outlet so you can suck power from there and put it into your battery. 
So we know that the male part of this is going to be the AC in. If you want to get power out, AC out, you're going to need to plug, you know, an appliance into something so that it can get power out, AC out. So the female side will be the AC out. That's going to correspond with the AC in and the AC out when you're wiring these into the appropriate spots. When you strip a cable, you're going to see a green, a black, and a white. G is green, so that's easy. Ground, G is green, L is black, and N is white. You're going to use these to wire in to the AC in and the AC out. Remember, green is G, black is L, white is N. So as you can see, it shows you the G the L and the N. That corresponds to these three parts here where we're going to wire things in. We know G is green, L is black, and N is white. So I've already unscrewed this terminal here and I'll take my cable, put it through, make sure that it's in there well, and I'm going to screw it down tight. I'm now going to do the same thing with the N. Now that these are screwed down tight, give it a tug, it's not coming out, and we have successfully put our AC in and AC out, and we can put back on the top plate. All right, we haven't wired in the PV, which is for the solar panels, because we're obviously in the office here, so it makes no sense, but the PV wires will wire in the bottom the exact same way as the AC in and AC out. It's bare wires, and you screw them down into the positive and the negative terminals. Now for the exciting part, let's see if we wired this up together properly and if this thing actually works. So first things first is we're going to take the battery cable, plug it into the battery and see if this thing powers up. I plug the battery in, we'll turn this on, we have power in the battery, I'm going to flip the on switch and we're getting power to our unit. This is now working in tandem. All right, so we now have power on the inverter. We can see it light up. We've got 26.6 volts on the front of the grow lot. That's the exact same as it's on the battery. Now let's see if we're able to power the battery by plugging this into some AC power. Right now I'm gonna be using an EcoFlow Delta. This would work the exact same way if you had a gas generator, a diesel generator. If I plug this into the wall at the house, this would work the same. Let's see if we're able to start powering this battery, charging it up by plugging it into an AC source. The Delta's turned on. You're gonna plug it into the back. You've just heard it click on. And in very short supply here, we should start seeing the line go from the power supply to the battery. You can see a line going from the power line sign to the battery which means we're actively charging our lithium battery off of a portable generator. We can see the battery has already gone up one volt. Now that we're actively charging with our AC in, let's see if we can also use power at the same time. We're gonna use the AC out. So what we'll do is we'll grab this lamp here and I'm going to plug it into our AC out And look at that, we're powering the lamp, we're charging our battery at the same time, and this is a complete solar system. If you had your, ba if you had your solar panels connected to this, you could actively be charging from solar as well. What a lot of people do, a lot of customers have done, is they've taken something like this, just an industrial strength power bar here, very typical, and they'll plug that in to the AC out, and you've now gone from one outlet to one, two, three, four, five, to nine outlets. Let's see if this works. We'll plug our same lamp and we've got power. That is literally as simple as it is to set up an off-grid kit yourself. Um, step by step, anybody can do this. Power an off-grid hunting cabin, maybe a van, schoolie, these type of things. Very simple. Anybody can do it. Slap some panels together and put that into the PV thing and you've got a complete off-grid kit that you can also power with a solar generator, a gas generator, or just general AC power. One tip I'm going to leave you with for everybody to know is how to get rid of the annoying beeping sound whenever you click the buttons on the GrowWatt. So in order to get rid of the beeping sound on the GrowWatt, you're going to want to go into the settings, go to setting number 17, and switch it off. To do that, you'll hold down the enter button, 
we can now see we're beeping on setting number one and you'll hit down. So I'm gonna go down all the way to setting 17. And now what I'm gonna do is hold enter again. It'll switch over to the beeping sound here. If I hit up, I've now turned the beeping sound on. And you'll notice that every time I click, there's now an annoying beep. Let's go back to setting 17, hold enter, turn it off, and I can switch around without beeping. This is gonna save you hours of frustration. This is just a little tip I'll leave you all with. If you have any questions, head over to the website, check out, read our articles, watch some other videos, or just give us a call, and we'll walk you through this as well.